Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today we're gonna check out how to play Dusk Till Dawn. We're gonna learn the chords, we're gonna learn the strum patterns that you can use, and also, after all of that, I'm gonna show you how to play the melody for the chorus that I was playing in the demo. All right, so I did a finger style arrangement lesson for this song uh, quite a while ago, so if you wanna check that out, go, make sure to go to my channel for that. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's start with the first verse. And by the way, if you're looking for a chord sheet for this lesson, if you're looking for tabs for the melody or tabs for my finger style arrangement, all of that can be found in the link in the description box below. Let's start with the first verse. That's how the song begins. Not trying to be empty. Not trying to be empty. Just trying to be endless. Tell me how you do. So I'm just strumming all the chords just once in the first verse. The chords that we're using are A minor. So you have open on the 5th string, 2nd fret on 4th and 3rd strings, 1st fret is on 2nd string, and open on the 1st string. Then F major, I'm playing it this way, 3rd fret on 5th and 4th strings, 2nd fret on the 3rd string, and 1 and 1 on the 1st two strings. Okay, you can also play it like this, I'm just using my thumb. Then C major, 3rd fret on 5th string, 2nd fret on the 4th string, Open on 3rd string, 1st fret on 2nd string, and open again. And for G over B, I'm just uh, using 2nd fret on the 5th string, then open, open, and 3 and 3 again. Okay, if you want, you can use, use a regular G, top string, 3rd fret, no problem with that. So, 4 lines, 4 chords strum just once. Then for the next 4 lines as well, can you feel with the like this? Can you feel it through? All of the windows inside this room. Now let's start with the breakers. Cause I wanna touch you, baby. I wanna feel you too. I wanna see the sunrise. So I'm adding just a few strums over the first main strum, and uh, because the main strum pattern, we're gonna start that in the chorus. Okay, so we're building it up. So the pre-chorus, A minor, strum once, and then two down strums, down, down, on the upper strings, on the bass strings over here, right? Down, down, so down, 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 F major, down, down. So these are lightly, I'm doing it lightly on the two down strums, okay? Then the main down strum is the first count, C major, down, down, and G. And then for the next four lines of the pre-chorus, you're gonna go back to only one strum on each chord. It's gonna go like this. Same chords again. Right, you can do that if you want. Open, open on the top, on the first string. Then third fret on second string. Open again on first string, okay? And then open, open two times again. Okay, so. And then. Then you're gonna do a mute strum in between. And how you can do that is, there's various ways to do it. Uh, the most simple way is to just cover the strings with the help of your left hand and just strum, okay? So you can do that. And then you start with the chorus. But you'll never be alone. I'll be with you from dust till dawn. I'll be with you from dust till dawn. Maybe I'm right. Okay, so the same four chords, A minor, F, C, and G. The strum pattern is going like this. That's all that we're doing for all the four chords. It's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, so first it's down, up, down. And then the next part is up, down, up, down, down. So if you put both those parts together, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, so if you can't get it in one go, just break it up into down, up, down, and then up, down, up, down, down. And then come put it all together for all the four chords, and you'll get this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Go to F, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Go to C, and go to G. Just keep 
do, doing the same thing for the entire chorus. the second verse okay so as you saw for the chorus we were just doing the same strum pattern uh, for the entire chorus now the second verse we're just gonna play it the same way as the first pre-chorus actually and uh, if you want you can play it just like the first verse one down strum for each for each chord we were shut like a jacket so do you we would roll down the rapids to find feel where the wind is can you feel it or if you want you can add those two down strums just like we were doing for the pre-chorus so and then you go back into the second pre-chorus same as first one and then after that go into the chorus again which, which will also be the same as the first chorus. Now I want to show you how to play the bridge. So let's get into that. Now for this bridge, what we're doing is we're making a lot of different chord changes. The chords that we're using are the chords that we already know how to play. Same chords, F, C, and G. These are the three chords that we're using for the bridge. And we're strumming all these chords just once. Okay, there's no drums in the bridge. So no need to apply a proper strum pattern over here. So let's start. We're gonna start with F major. Go give up to your body. Go to C. So you that can stop and G. Go give up to your body. G again. So you that can stop at F. Go after your body. C. So you that can stop and G. Go give up to your body. G again. Go give up to your body. And then you can stop. And then after that, go give up to your body. All of that. Then you can come to the final chorus okay so basically f c g and g repeat it two times okay so f left to your body c it's only you that can stop g and g again and just repeat that all over again f go get left to your body c g and g again and then you start with the final chorus and that's gonna go exactly the same way as the previous uh, chorus that we've learned So you can sing a lot better than me. Um, just remember that it's played the same way as we played the first chorus. There's not much into this song. It's really easy. And that will be it for the strumming and chord lesson. Now we're going to get into how I played the lead guitar part for the chorus that I was playing in the demo. So let's get into that. All right, I've taken the capo off because we don't need that for this lead part. And if you're looking for tabs for this, then I've mentioned, I've, I've written those in the chord sheet itself. All right, you're gonna start with ninth fret on fourth string. It's gonna go, the first part is gonna go like this. Ninth fret on the fourth string. Then down, up, down on seventh fret of first string. Okay, three times. Then you have 10th fret on second string. Then you do a hammer on from seven to 10 on the second string and then play it then again so so that's going to be seventh fret on third string and three times on tenth fret of second string then eighth fret two times seventh fret so Play this part once again. 
So from the start we have this. And then once again what you can also do is you can do a slide back from 7 to 5 in the end. So okay once again you can also do that. And now So this is going to be a hammer on from 7 to 9 on uh, third string and 7 foot on second string 9 and 9 on third string back to 7 and 9 on the fourth string so now repeat the first part from over here once again okay same thing and then this also Once again and after that there will be a change okay so this part we've already learned uh, the second time all the parts uh, are just being repeated from the first uh, line you can say let me just uh, to avoid the confusion let me just play with him once again Second time, repeat everything. Now here's a change. So we're doing uh, three pull-offs from a nine to seven on the first string. Then play seven again, okay? And now we come over here. Okay, once again so that's a pull off from five uh, sorry seven to five on the first string seven on second string then five and seven on the first string okay so come to five on first string and again pull off seven to five then seven on second string five and seven on first string so, and then, now next time, so, 5th fret on 1st string, pull off 7 to 5 on 1st string, then you have 8 on 2nd string, 5 and 7 on 1st string, so, and repeat this little part again. And then, then you come over here, repeat this little part again. Okay, that's what we've done so far. And now you come over here. So that's five on first string, seven on second string. And now the next part will go like this. So that's going to be 7-7 seven, seven on 2nd string. So, 3 times on 10th fret on 1st string. Then do a pull off from 10 to 9 on 1st string. Then 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, so. After that. So that's going to be a pull off from um, 9 to 7, 3 times. Then 7 again on the first string. So, and then pull off 3 times, back to 7. After this, you're going to play parts that we've already learned for this part uh, over here. Repeat this entire thing. Okay, so this part is being played two times. Now I'm going to play everything, the whole melody from the start.
repeat. Okay. Also now you can also do play this video in slow motion by changing the speed of this video in if you go to the settings in the menu and down there you can change the speed of this video and that will that way it will become even more easier for you to look at what's happening okay so you can do, do that in mobile devices as well as in desktop so that is it for dusk till dawn by Zane and Sia I hope you like the lesson and once again uh, the card sheet for this lesson the tabs for what I just played all of that is available at my patreon page and I'm really thankful to all my patrons who are supporting me over there I really appreciate your generous support. I'll see you guys again in the next lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.